Let's see. Preacher's video. Should ammo add-ons be banned? Find someone who looks at you how Mike looks at Chad Bubbles, Keg W. So the debate surrounding add-ons and third-party tools rages on both in WoW and FF14. Some of it reasonable and some of it not so much. What's your position on add-ons? Oh. I prefer you with less add-ons. What is he looking at, though? That's supposed to be like a person in the bed. Perfection. That's so weird. <laughs> That's so weird. It's like, the fuck was that? I get it, it's like his shed bubbles, but like... <laughs> Was that like someone in bed and uh, green screen or some shit? Add-ons, add-ons, add-ons. Everybody's got an opinion these days on add-ons, haven't they? It's been it's, an argument that... It's just the next thing that people are want to rage about. ...has been brought up to the fire ever since the last Race to World verse in Sepulchre, as people find it outrageous, the amount of add-on use, certainly World of Warcraft, that is utilized in order to make fights easier. And World of Warcraft is not alone in this. In fact, it's a widespread discussion that happens across every MMO. Yeah. And wouldn't you know it, Within the past couple of weeks, that fire has been lit under Final Fantasy XIV as yeah. well. So to be honest, this could have been lit. Um, like I know they were, they didn't like them before, but like, like it should be might have been like watching World First race and wow, and he's like, okay, we're making a strong stance against add-ons immediately. <laughs> we're talking about add-ons and their usage because. Once again, in most cases, gamers are very clear. Probably not, though. Probably because of the ultimate. Not that easy a situation. So, in World of Warcraft, it's a case of we're watching these teams on payroll. Like, they're actively paying these people, usually three or four people, to come to the World First event. And that means they are considered as important <sighs> as everybody else who is there at those events. Yep. And their job is to make add-ons. Yep. They do other tasks besides, but when you'll see those leaders, be it Max or be it Stripe, drop into different channels and say, this is what we <clears> need. <throat> and while that's happening, other people, these tech analysts are also letting people know what they need. And these teams scurry and busy and get to work creating very specific weak auras or whatever it might be to then make the fights yep. easier for the guys. If they get a nice diagram of where they should go, if you look at the Jailer, it pre-plans which bomb holes you should be going in so there's no confusion. And in many cases, they're building extra, extra boss mods that not only say this mechanic is happening soon, but also giving warnings to individuals. You need to be in your position in 10 seconds. Things like that are very commonplace when it comes to the most difficult of difficult fights. But Final Fantasy XIV has also run into this recently. The new Ultimate fight, the new Dragon Song Ultimate that just took place in Final Fantasy XIV was and is widely considered the most difficult fight Final Fantasy XIV has ever managed to produce. And it's yeah. the best of the best of the yes, best. Group. Just as long to kill the one fight as it did for a lot of big races in the MMO space. Hey, what, is he now, what is he playing? The Black Mage? Yeah, it must be Black Mage because I do not recognize it at all. It doesn't look like Summoner. During the streaming of this, people could hear the add on. Yeah, oh, never mind. I see his uh, game, like his icon on the party list. Yeah, it's a Black Mage. <laughs> it's fucking idiot. Simple add ons that were giving sort of vocal notifications as to when things were coming or which way to face, things like that. And people did not like that because Final Fantasy XIV is well known for being an add on free game. Quotation marks. Quotation marks, add-on free game. And what people are really talking about, of course, is boss mods. You yeah. don't want it to do with boss mods. Final Fantasy XIV goes to massive lengths to make sure that what's happening is visually shown to you. The boss will raise his right arm if he's going to destroy the right-hand side of the room. He will turn yeah. to you if he's going to target something. There will be icons and indicators trying to show you what is supposed to be happening. Now, of course, in the most difficult fights, 
there's so many things going on, such as trios of mechanics, that that can be very difficult to work through, hence where the difficulty in Final Fantasy XIV fights comes from. Very complicated things all happening at once where lots of players need to coordinate in a very specific way. And seeing add-ons in use got a lot of people upset. So, Yoshi P made a statement. And their statement remains as it has been for a long time. We don't endorse the use of third-party add-ons. We can't yeah. specifically check if you're using some of these things, but we don't... Endorse this is honest about it. So it's like, obviously, if they can't specifically check, guess what? Like, if you're streaming your add-ons, I mean, like, you're going to get fucked. Them. And this isn't just a case of boss mods, but it also extends to the fact that they don't like people using damage meters because often people wield them as a weapon, and we're going to come back to that in a second, but anything that should make fights even easier because they're obviously very worried about going to where World of Warcraft is right now in discussing add-ons. And recently, in the interview with Asmund Gold and Ian Hazacostas, they brought up the subject of add-ons as well. It's a very hot topic in both communities, and that's because it affects everybody differently. That's the thing. They, we kind of know. Right? <laughs> look at Ian's face. Just look at, look at this, look at this, look at this. Just look at Ian's recently, face. Recently, in the interview with Asmund Gold and Ian Hazacostas, they brought up the subject of add-ons as well. It's a very hot topic in both communities, and that's because it affects everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's had moved so much, bro. Like, I like Ian is known to be like uh, jittery. I would say, like when he talks, like his ends like this, and it's like it's fine. I'm not laughing at it. It's just like I'm not laughing at him. It's just it's funny that it happens. You know, it's like, I don't know how to explain, it, but it's like I wish he would find it. I I hope he finds it funny as well that he moves so much. Um, it's like he's trying to like portray emotion and it's whatever it, it, i mean it, it is what it is but it is kind of funny any logical person can kind of see what ff14 is trying to avoid and on the vice versa a lot of world of warcraft casual players look at something like the race to world first <laughs> they're hearing about things that are like teams of people making add-ons yep. and a lot of people will look at a world of warcraft ui and go what the hell is happening like 60 percent of the screen is add-ons giving me information. I don't want to play a game like that. I want to play a game that's nice and clean and open. So yeah. with these Elden Rings. First. Now, wielding as a weapon. This is where we have to set the foundation for how widespread this thing goes. Because when people talk about add-ons, they're kind of using a blanket statement. And some add-ons are good. Let's just face facts. Some add-ons are good. True. Not everything provided by the game developer is perfect. We can all agree on that. that everything is perfect. I oh, the background music. This. And I'm not the only one. Because in FF14, no third party stuff is allowed. However, there's a lot of stuff that's kind of good and it's just not in the game. Yeah. Now, I was attacked because UI. I had an add-on installed. In my history of playing Final Fantasy XIV, I have used one add-on. Chat bubbles. And it was a simple add-on that had nothing to do with encounters, Chad nothing bubbles. to do with trivializing anything. It was chat bubbles. Chat bubbles. I don't like looking at chat in a side box on the corner of my game. I often don't notice it. My attention is usually focused on the screen as a whole, and the chat box is kind of unnecessary to me in a lot of ways, and that's how I've played MMOs for probably 10 to 12 years. And the reason for that is simple. Often, I'm in voice comms with people. If I'm going to talk to people, I talk to them. I literally use my mouth. And if people are so trying weird. to do something that's important to me, I can see a chat bubble. The World of Warcraft has chat bubbles. It's never been a problem. And therefore, I can see not only who's talking to me, but where they're stood. And well, shit. Much more engaged with the people I'm surrounded by. Final Fantasy XIV does not have chat bubbles. There are a few reasons behind this. I mean, it's cool that they can do that. But at the same time, I don't know if I would sit there and watch. But it made me... Annoyed and frustrated because often people would be, if I was going into a group setting or something like that, a lot of people would be saying things simultaneously. And I can't watch what they're doing, especially if they're doing some slight RP thing or something more interesting, is looking away and going on there. I just don't personally don't like it. And I think it's way more fun when you can see people doing an action and talking at the same time on the screen. Yep. So I was like, God, I miss chat bubbles. It was, <coughs> of all the things I missed after playing World of Warcraft for over a decade, the thing that I missed the most was chat bubbles. I know, and weird, right? so many people around. So people were like, yeah, you can get a plugin that makes that work. And I raised the questions like, isn't that not allowed? It's like, look, look, this is how this kind of works. Damage meters exist in Final Fantasy XIV. They do. We have logs for Final Fantasy XIV. We have lots of stuff. We have things that make the auction house better. Because you've got to remember, FF14 yep. was designed around consoles. So a lot yep. of stuff doesn't really make its 
make itself more conducive that's true PC environments Bro, i don't know how it was made around consoles and yet you have samurais Dude, just a single target rotation on samurai requires two bars Le like and if you need to change to aoe suddenly it's like a third bar like oh my god so we can there are add-ons and stuff that make this easier there are add-ons to take better pictures right there are add-ons to make things just a little bit more convenient but generally speaking most of the community is okay with the fact that there's no damage meters or if you have a damage meter you don't use that as a weapon now after this statement last week things have been used as a weapon especially towards streamers because we can people can see that yep. we're using add-ons now yep. i just instantly uninstalled mine i just figured look my take on this is simple in terms of the ff14 stuff we'll come back that's to uh pyromancer yeah my take on this is simple in terms of the ff14 stuff we'll come back to wow is that if it's something they agree with they're gonna add it to the game now i may use these things in the future because they're clearly not what ff14 was attacking but i have a bad experience let's just say with thinking things sends Bridge Gaming's invite to Content Creator Summit after banning him and other World of Warcraft players like Metha Josh over the leveling potion issue. Things are okay, and uh, yep. them not being. I have been banned in the past, as is well documented, uh, when I thought things were like, oh, okay, they clearly don't care about this thing, and so we'll go ahead and do it. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to read the. I'm going to read the, the, the what's happening with the player base. I'm. I really did not think this was a bannable situation. Do I regret it now? Of course, it was my mistake. Let's see if this kind of moves on, because as far as I'm concerned, and I think Squeenix probably agrees with me on this, chat bubbles ain't shit. They're not what they're targeting. Their post describing 100%. this problem with add-ons. 100% it's not what they're targeting. Encounters and making the game yep. easier in some way, especially when they're trying to produce these most difficult Yeah, fights. but the terms of service don't say that. So technically, if they really want, they can ban you on like any other add-on. But it's worth the risk, not really. Yes. What they don't want is something like Weak Horrors coming in. But, of course, it's been wheeled as a weapon. Several streamers have been attacked and reported constantly. Who else are they going to ban? Have their accounts banned. People who took part in the Ultimate have had their accounts taken down. Now, you may agree or disagree with that, and that's not my position here. I'm looking to talk about add-ons in general, and then coming back to World of Warcraft. So that has happened, and people are always going to do that, especially if they don't like that streamer, especially if they disagree with them, or they say something they don't like. They're going to wield this as a weapon, and we have seen that happen, and that's not great. That's not great, is to have this kind of attitude of attack, 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 when it's clearly not what this was designed around, and yeah. they're basically asking you to use common logical sense in these situations. Over in World of Warcraft, a lot of people, after the last race war first, were just like, let's flat out ban add-ons. Let's talk about that for a second. World of Warcraft was designed from day one with add-on usage in mind, similar to many games that you'll find on Steam that endorse workshops and things like that, and... Who can play Skyrim anymore, unmodded? Somebody out there will, and somebody does play World of Warcraft with zero add-ons. I mean, after you clear Skyrim normal, like with no mods, you're gonna go mods. Same with like Dark Souls 3. I clear Dark Souls 3, man. I wanna play Cinders, you know? Somebody everywhere does that thing, but the game is designed with it in mind. They've got, the, the, the standard WoW UI has gotten better, and they're making more improvements in Dragonflight, but let's face facts, it's kind of dog shit. Right? It's kind of dog shit. And the reason it's dog shit yeah. is because they expect you to use add-ons to alter it and change it to however you want it to be. And they encourage that behavior. Now, it's not to say World of Warcraft hasn't taken a stance when people cross the line. That has happened many, many times. We all know about AVR, or if you don't, AVR in Wrath of the Lich King, which literally projected textures of where you should stand to avoid mechanics onto the game. I'm not joking. That add-on existed. <laughs> that add-on existed, which is like... Here's a big red circle on the floor. Stand there and you're fine. Really? And you'll never get hit by this mechanic. Obviously, that massively trivialized so many encounters because the gate, the, this app huh. was able to read where projectiles were going, where nasty things were going to happen, and say, this is the safe space if you go and stand there and we'll literally put a big circle on the floor so that's where you go and stand and you avoid all these horrible things that are happening and people were overcoming bosses they should have no hope of defeating. Compared to saying that Wing Buffet is coming in 10 seconds, or the big explosion is coming in 20 seconds. That is far beyond that line. A boss mod will tell you when things are happening, or when things happen, that you have a certain nasty debuff. But what it's not doing is saying, like, everybody go here, and you could literally trace a map where everybody needed to go in order to avoid ever getting hit by these mechanics. And that was mad. So they threw a line. 
If we go back to Star Augur, we know that Blizzard decided that they had to cut off parts of the API again because people trivialized the hardest mechanic in that oh, game. The the Grand Conjunction, where you had to pair <laughs> up with people with certain icons above your head, but they had add-ons that would simply say, you go to the big blue square and you yep. are fine. And yep. everything will be fine and nobody's going to get hit and that's you're going to win and overcome the most difficult part of this fight. This fight is entirely designed around this mechanic. It uses area denial to make this mechanic even harder. And if you trivialize that mechanic using add-ons, then the fight is worthless. And now we have to rethink, oh. and this is the important thing, we have to rethink how we do fights in the future because we can no longer use this type of mechanic because you guys are going to make it super easy. Yeah. So does that mean all add-ons should be destroyed? So those add-ons, again, like, these are the add-ons I think should be like banned. Like it's... Like stuff there, like you know, it's um. Let's see, a mechanic that. Okay, so for example, there's a tether, and uh, and your add-on makes the tether seem more visible. I'm fine with that because like sometimes like the like the floor and the tether are the same color. And it's like if there's an add-on that tells you like there's a tether, and you can see it easier. I don't think that's that big of an issue, but like. Straight up telling you where to go, man. Shit that is going to happen. Where to stand. Oh, it's too much, man. It's like, it's like, why even bother? The the difficulty of the fight literally becomes your teammates not fucking up because the add-ons are already doing ninety percent of the job for you. Absolutely. You just gotta do ten percent and hope the other people can do the ten percent. Be some flexibility about more strict Messed up. rules over in FF14. There's a fine line to be had. There is always going to be that, but it's a, not an easy line to find, in my opinion. True. That's where it comes down to. Is clearly stuff I'm doing and other thing people are doing enhances their game experience without any negative effect happening on the design of the game or implementation. But you, people are right. It's like. That makes it so that you can keep kind of pushing that and then making them come back. And frankly, the FF14 devs can't be fucking bothered to deal with that, and I don't blame them. They would rather True. say, look, we don't endorse any of this, and if we see something we don't like, we're just going to crack down on it and keep it that way because it makes our lives infinitely easier. And if there's something you guys are doing, maybe we can implement it into the game ourselves, which is what I'm hoping for with things like chat bubbles because it makes our experience so much better and is entirely innocent. He really That's loves chat stance. bubbles. <laughs> you might disagree and say, they said no, they said no, they did say no. I don't have it installed. I uninstalled it immediately because I'm not risking getting banned. There's just no purpose. Yeah. Over in World of Warcraft, can you imagine playing that game with no add-ons? Now, some of you nope. will be like, well, I play with no add-ons, but I'm just going to say you, your experience is way shitter than what I experienced. That, that's the fact. Like, having things, like, especially considering a lot of the games since day one, this is not a modern yeah, thing. Yeah. This isn't a Dragonflight thing. This isn't a Shadowlands thing. Are absolutely designed with the very fast-paced, very proactive and reactive uh, gameplay that is in World of Warcraft, far, far, far quicker than what you'll find in FF14, is... It's designed because you should know these things happen. The horrible spells of casting, being able to mark mobs very quickly in massive packs because you can pull extraordinarily large things with huge amounts of things going on. This is just in dungeons and things like that because they kind of expect that you're going to have something going on. Yeah. Now, personally, I do think weak auras go too far. I'm not. Oh, one hell to... yeah. Aside from like, like the good part of weak auras is like. Uh, cooldown tracking stuff like that because i think the game should uh, give that to you by default but <laughs> everything outside of that <laughs> buddy that is too much that is too much that's a bit too much information that you shouldn't have you know as they say information is power and then wow woo -hoo -hoo, it's 90 percent of your power one side or the other here ui add-ons all that kind of stuff is fine i personally would love to see some fights that have stuff like this disabled to see how they do i'm trying to put together something where we'll see a raid with zero add-ons like how do people perform under those pressures because it creates all sorts of weird situations where the race or uh, the race or people interested in the race are saying it's not competitive because people just can't have add-on creators on standby we don't have a payroll to make that happen. yeah but at the same yeah. time do i want to see things like oh, not competition not anymore disabled? not really like the auction house is better but it's still not great do i really want to see my my ui disappear no, and as rightly pointed out by Ian in the interview with Asmon, is that if they there are things that they have to disable in order to make certain add-ons not work, which have a ripple effect. Yeah. If you disable this part of the API, which is the code that people use to 
get add-on information and then relay that back to the player. If we disable part of that, then no longer do you have things like a slightly better health bar. Is that what you really want? Because I imagine a lot of people don't. It's a very fine line and no easy answer. Yeah. And it's something that I think all devs need to keep an eye on. And it, these blanket wipeout statements that I'm seeing from people is like, it should just be a flat out no. I totally disagree with. I totally disagree with. It's not something that can just be destroyed in a heartbeat. Yeah. And then everybody's happy. In FF, you can technically. I would say majority of players don't really use any add-ons that are like life-changing. In WoW, you really cannot. Because you're going to upset a lot of people. I and again... A lot of people use add-ons in, in Final Fantasy. I just don't think they're as mandatory as they are in WoW. And that's necessary. What you need to do is probably take a proactive approach in this. FF14 for me is too hands-on. WoW is too hands-off. There's a place in the middle that can maybe make this work. Yeah, but I agree. You, if we're at the point in WoW, which we are now... I wouldn't even say Final Fantasy is too hands-on. They're too hands-on now because of the ultimate, but they're not that hands-on outside of it. You're, you're literally having to pay teams of people to try and nullify mechanics. Because that's what they're doing. <laughs> They're actively trying to yeah. make mechanics not a problem. Just pay the devs kind of to because uh, they've proven, and I think cheat your way through. The best example here. Holondras didn't require any add-ons. The, the raid leaders were practically useless there. It was a game of personal play. They can absolutely design fights that like that in World of Warcraft, and they can make it work. Can they do them all the time? No. no. They can't do them all the time. WoW isn't acceptable to that. It wouldn't be a great time if everything was just like, okay, now we just need to carry bombs or whatever. Like, there's a, there's a limited scope in that environment to make that work. They would have to redesign how the bosses work, like animation-wise. Because you say, FF14 does it. FF14 bosses work entirely differently. They work entirely differently and designed around the idea from the get-go, from day one, that there's no add-ons involved. Well, the Warcraft is not like that. Like, you can't visually, like, they can't even make the Jailer walk properly, right? <laughs> He's like, he slides across the floor. Let alone can he give very, very distinct animations as to what he's doing without everything yeah. being a slow build-up, which is not conducive to that game. So there's many arcs here. I'd love to see your thoughts on it personally. There's a middle ground here. There's a middle ground. And yeah, part of it is selfish. Of course I want chat bubbles back in FF14, and I wouldn't mind not seeing ridiculous i wouldn't see raids come to a stop while add-ons get made so we can get around this mechanic like there's a fine line in the middle but i'd love to see your thoughts on it guys let me know what you think all right fetch <laughs> wait 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 right. around this mechanic wait a second there's a fine line in the middle but i'd love to see your thoughts on it guys let me know what you think I prefer you with less add-ons. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> oh, down. Oh, Floor Inspector, what a name. <laughs> How did he even come up with it? I need to watch the stream where he came up with that name. Oh my god, that's... yeah. Anyways, uh, a good video overall. <sighs> Great video, actually. And yeah, he doesn't take any like real stance. His stance is that it's somewhere in the middle, that some add-ons uh, should be and some add-ons shouldn't be allowed. But again, I would say the easiest... It's, it's hard to put in the terms of service, because how do you differentiate, right? But it's like... Use common sense. Add-ons that help you with combat and my uh, P combo add-on is definitely helping me with combat. Should not be allowed. As much as I would hate to lose that add-on, it's fine. Like it's not that big of a deal. It's just a bit annoying. But uh, yeah, as uh, as far as like add-ons that change the battle, change combat, and like make a lot of mechanics like too easy yeah those should go those should go and let the fights become a bit easier because reaction time stuff like that needs to be taken into account and if uh, your reaction time is add-on reaction time which is instant then the fight becomes a lot a lot a lot a lot harder than it should be but yeah see you in the next one